Number seven. The North American and European continents are moving apart at a rate of about three centimeters per year. At this rate, how long will it take them to drift 500 kilometers further apart than they are at present? Okay, so let's identify what we're given. They gave us a rate here. Right? So that could be either a speed or a velocity. They're drifting apart. It doesn't say that things are moving back and forth and they're just moving apart. So we can, you know, call it either one. It really won't make a difference. Uh, let's just call that a speed for now. Okay. So they gave us a speed. And they want to, uh, they want us to find out, right, how long will it take? So they're asking for a time value, right? So they want us to find time. How long will it take for them to drift apart or uh, 500 kilometers apart, right? So this is now a distance, okay? And I'm going to call it a distance because I, I define the um, rate as a speed, right? If I called the rate a velocity, then I just would have called this a displacement. And this problem, it doesn't really matter. So notice what you're given and think about, do you know a mathematical relationship between these three items? And, uh, and I think we do, right? So if we write down speed is equal to distance divided by time, right? In order for me to find time, I better know the speed and the distance. And we do, right? So we can essentially just plug them in and do a quick calculation. All right, so let's see what happens. So let's plug in three centimeters per year for the speed. And then the distance they gave us was 500 kilometers divided by time, which I'm trying to find. Now here's the problem. So don't do the calculation right now because the distance value they gave you in the speed is in centimeters and the distance value that they gave you for the actual distance in which they're drifting apart is in kilometers. No good. Okay, these units have to be consistent. So it doesn't matter to me whether they both are in centimeters or they both are in kilometers. We're going to get the same answer. Okay, they just have to be consistent. So always make sure that they are the same. And if they're not, we have to do a conversion. So I think the easiest conversion here would be to take the kilometer value, the 500 kilometers, convert that into centimeters. So let's do that on the right. So 500 kilometers, kilometers on the bottom, meters on the top, there's a thousand meters in one kilometer, kilometers cancel, right? So this would essentially be 500 and then add three more zeros. So it becomes 500,000. And that would be uh, in meters. Okay. Now, if I know the meters, I have to still convert it to centimeters, right? So now just take this answer. Okay. I'll rewrite it over here 500,000 meters, meters on the bottom now, centimeter on the top, because I want the meters to cancel. And I know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So now simply just add two more zeros to your number. We already had five and two more. Right, so that'll give us now a value of 50 million. Okay, 50 million centimeters. Now this is the number that we need to be plugging into the numerator here. So let's rewrite everything. I'm going to not write the units in now just so it looks a little cleaner and it doesn't get too cluttered. Okay, just remember though that your time value here is in years. Therefore, the T value that you're going to calculate will also be in years, which is fine because they didn't ask us for a particular time value. They just said how long. They didn't say how long in seconds, how long in years, how long in minutes. All right. So let's uh, plug in that 50 million value. Great. Divided by then T. Okay. So T, just doing a little cross multiplication, right? Uh, T will be equal to 50 million over 3. And then just take out your calculator, plug that on in. So 50 million divided by 3. So that works out to be about 1.7. I'll round to two sig figs. Um, actually, when I look back, eh, let's just do one sig fig. Um, because that's how many there are, right? If you go back to what's given in the problem, the three has one significant figure, and the 500 also has one significant figure because there's no decimal. So this works out to be two uh, times 10 raised to the uh, seventh, and that is in years.
So it's going to take almost 20 million years for these tectonic plates um, to move apart that amount, 500 kilometers. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and I uh, hope this helped. If it did, please subscribe. And uh, until next time. <laughs>